sometimes we got it wrong, but it's alright. You're gonna find yourself somewhere, somehow. Hello, and welcome back to the search. If the audio is not the best on this video, I do apologize. As you can see, this is going to be one of those driving in the car videos because when you plan out how you want your day to go, it does not always work out that way. So you gotta find compromise <laughs> with you and the universe. And that's what I'm doing. So, um, First of all, I hope everybody has had a great week and is having a great day. Um, but with this video, I wanted to talk about priorities. I do apologize about the lack of actual career counseling videos or giving you guys information that I got from my career counselor. Um, I haven't been able to meet with her yet this month of November because we're doing every other week. She unfortunately was exposed to COVID. I'm sure that she'll be fine and hope that she um, didn't have any severe system symptoms and it was just um, her being exposed and not actually getting COVID. But I won't be able to see her until the week of Thanksgiving. So that's why I haven't been able to give much more of those videos because I've just kind of been doing a little research here and there. Um, like something that's been popping into my head and kind of came a couple times it's like social media management um, I haven't really been doing TikTok much because TikTok is just a lot to do um, to keep up with trends and things like that um, but I've been doing a little bit of Instagram and then keeping consistent with my YouTube and because I do enjoy doing those things that's why social media management came up um, I don't really know what I'm looking for when I'm looking up the information. I know that you probably have to do business classes, which is what I was doing before. But um, I did mention having to do informational interviews. I don't really know how to do or start that or go about that. So I've just kind of been dabbling into looking into things. And then something else I've been looking into is um, like traveling jobs. I, the things that keep popping up is like, a travel agent or teaching abroad or freelancing I don't really know about those things or if it's something that I want to do so I am waiting to try to do a little deeper digging with her to see if maybe there's a website or something that I'm not finding that can give more information or more options for jobs that would allow you to travel but then other than that another big thing that I have been thinking about and figuring out is my priorities in life. Now there's a lot of things that you or I or anybody would want to accomplish in life but what was happening with me is thinking about all of these things that may not happen 10 plus years but I'm thinking about them right now and trying to figure out how I'm going to handle them right now and it was stressing me out and it was giving me anxiety and it was just adding a lot extra that doesn't need to be added so um i made an instagram slash facebook post about a conversation that i had with my dad where he mentioned this and it's not the first time that we've had a conversation where he has mentioned that i need to figure out what's the most important thing to do now so what i took the time to do was to think about the next two to five years what is the most important thing that I want to happen and want to accomplish and I wrote it down and I started doing some research on that um, so I do want to travel as of right now the biggest thing that I want to do is in the next two years I would like to travel for an extended period of time abroad uh, so 
I've been looking into how to make money and like because I do have a pre-consistent medical uh, autoimmune disease where I have to take medicine looking into like travel insurance if I'm not going to be working if I'm able to save up enough money looking at how much money it would cost for me to successfully travel uh, abroad for an extended period of time I'm thinking like a year I would like to do it I'm um, looking into if I do figure out what it is that I want to do for my career within the next year and I have to go back to school well I most likely do have to go back to school or want to go back to school because I do want to finish a bachelor's degree but looking into study abroad programs that I can do with going to school and then also trying to do research on what I could do if I wasn't doing a study abroad program at school and then what was other the other things was my um, language skills in Spanish I would call me maybe a beginner in one of the, the beginner realms I don't think I'm beginner beginner but I don't think I'm like beginner advanced but I would like to be like beginner advanced or in a, intermediate I would like to be able to be in a situation where I can just speak Spanish I may not know every single thing but I I mean education and languages is an ongoing thing but that I would be able to talk with no issues and no nervousness that is a goal within the next year and then for Korean because they do have a completely different uh, out the system where they're not like alpha characters like the US or in Spanish has but um, I would like to be consider myself like beginner intermediate where I can have very very simple conversations of like introducing myself asking somebody who they are asking them how their day is which is what i can do in spanish right now um so that is another goal with the career finding i did give that the realm of two to five years i would like it to be not five years and closer to the two years but that's what i'm give, doing is in the next two to five years the biggest biggest thing is figuring out what my career path is going to be and what I'm going to do for the rest of my life and then the last thing actually not the last thing one of the other things that was on this list was physical fitness not necessarily the way that I look though as I become more fit in my eyes my body is naturally going to change um, in regards to my strength and my endurance and some injuries that I have recently got or had in the past getting better and not continuing to cause me pain. All right, now back to the actual last thing on this list. Is getting the current home that I live in together. There are some home improvement things um, that I want to get together um, so that that part of life is comfortable that when I want to come home and unwind because everything's not together, can't completely, like run. right now we're down the bathroom type situation. Um, but as of right now, those are the most important things um, to me. And though I am almost 30, I do have family members that didn't have their first kids until 40. So um, one of the things that were stressing me out is that if it takes me too long to find my career, that I'm not going to get into a relationship because if I don't know what I want to do or who I want to be, then I don't want to bring somebody else into my situation and then we're trying to figure out each other together and then trying to bring kids in there and then worry about helping the kids figure out who they want to be and I still don't even just going down that rabbit hole. That's one of the things that is like was giving me is thinking about what's going to happen 10 years down the road. but. You are not at that mark yet so I've decided to cut it off as we're not thinking about what's gonna happen 10 years down the road at the moment we're gonna focus on the next two to five years so that we can get you happy now if some things don't happen within that time frame then of course I'll have to I'll be switching up my priorities and accepting 
whatever is is but because I have decided that these are my priorities these are my goals this is what I'm going to be working towards and at this time I refuse failure so um, with this video I want to encourage anybody who is watching don't accept failure choose the most important important things in your life right now that you want to get accomplished and figure out a plan give it a time frame um, me personally I don't have anything that's gonna be like within the next couple of months but you may and if you can figure out a plan to make it work don't accept failure do what you have to do and focus your energy on those immediate priorities that you are choosing um, I am claiming success I am also claiming success for anybody else who is watching this video and I support you like you support me with watching my YouTube videos um, I hope you did enjoy this video um, like comment and subscribe because there has I have been getting a couple of comments and I do enjoy um, the comments that I've been getting because they've been supportive um, even if it's some criticism I can take that too but that is going to be the end of this video um, I do just want to push in that point to determine what are the most important important things in your life prioritize how you want to get stuff done and hopefully that helps limit some of the stress and frustration that thinking about everything at once may cause for me and maybe some of you guys um, well with that I'm gonna say thank you again for giving me the time to watch this video and let's continue this life thing figuring out this life thing together. Bye. Love on faded dreams. I hope you get your dreams.